What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of All Mouth Bassing. In this video, I went out to a couple different local ponds a few days back and did some fishing with these four inch yum finesse worms. So the pre-spawn has actually been heating up down here in the south. So I was basically just fishing them super shallow along the weeds and I ended up actually having some pretty awesome luck. So if you guys wanna see how that went, go ahead, stick around, stay tuned and check it out. This is another one also by Yum, but it's a June bug colored finesse trick worm. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this around shallow and see if they like this any better. June bug has been a killer color for me lately, especially in stained water like this. So hoping for the best here. Fish. <laughs> cool. Slightly bigger bass. All right, guys. Awesome little bass on the finesse trick worm. Beautiful little fish. Nothing too special, but definitely happy with it. Let's get it swimming and get back after it. Bass, or at least a fish. I'm assuming a bass. Oh yeah, it's a bass. They seem to be liking this little trick worm quite a bit. All right, guys, that's another decent little bass on that trick worm. They seem to be liking it quite a bit. I haven't taken too many casts yet and I've had a good bit of bites on it. I missed a few and landed these two, so pretty good so far. Let's put him back and get that trick worm back out there. Another one. Trick worm is pulling through today. And all the bass have been fired up too. And this is probably the best one of the day. Not too bad at all. All right, guys, best bass of the day so far. And it's actually a pretty decent one. All three bites on the trick worm so far have come real quick. So super happy with the way that bait's performing today. Real gorgeous little largemouth bass. Let's put them back and keep on going. Stuck to my glove. Right in front of me, tiny little bass, but ate basically right at the boat. That was pretty cool. Smallest of the day by far. Well, this one's just a little baby, guys, but still counts. Cool little catch. Let's get it back in the water. It's ready to go. There were probably bass right there, and I probably just scared them. Is that a bass I'm on right now? I'm on something. Oh, there was some kind of tension there. That's a fish. All right, little one, but it's a fish. Well, and they're getting smaller now because this is so small, I'm surprised it even managed a four hot hook. <laughs> well, they can't all be nice ones. We'll go ahead and put this little guy back and let him grow.
fish. All right, another halfway decent one. Hell yeah, guys, we are just hammering bass with these trick worms. Pretty awesome little catch. Let's put them back and keep on going. <laughs> Big splash. Fish. That might be a good one. Yeah, decent. Not giant, but decent. Oh yeah. Might even be a little better. Excuse me, can't speak. Might even be the best of the day, honestly. It's pretty close with the other decent one we caught. Alright guys, this one's the best, if not second best bass of the day. It's pretty close, but another pretty nice one, and we are still just hammering them on that june bug finesse worm hell yeah let's put this dude back and keep on going fish all right just a little guy but it was another pretty quick bite that was maybe only three or four casts before this one bit nothing too crazy but another pretty neat little catch oh buddy flopped right out of my hands <laughs> Am I on one? No way. I didn't think I was on. All right, back to back casts. About the same size bass, but maybe just slightly bigger than that last one. Pretty awesome though. Hell yeah, guys. Those last three catches were actually one right on top of the other, which is just awesome. Two of them weren't anything too special, but that first of the three was actually pretty nice. And that was just a fun few minutes of fishing getting on these fish like that. Anyway, put it back and get back after it. That is a fish. I don't think that was a fish. All right. Second time in a row one tricked me. Thought it was weeds. Well guys, we might not be getting on any giants today, but the numbers are certainly there and the average size isn't horrible. Definitely not big, but not terrible. A couple pretty little bass. Let's go ahead and toss this guy back and see what else we could do. What the? That was strange. Just another little dink, but man, those last few bites have been so strange. They're like hammering the finesse worm, but then they won't swim off after they hit it. They're just like smoking it, but then sitting in the same spot. So they don't pull off and I don't really feel them pulling or anything. And then I realize I have a fish on after I thought it was just some kind of bump on a snag or something. But anyway, pretty cool. Getting on some crazy good numbers today. Let's go ahead and throw this dude back. 
Well guys, it is just before sundown, a few days later now, and I decided to come out to this much smaller pond and try my luck a little bit more with these yum finesse worms. Still going with the June bug colored ones. These have been doing really well for me. Actually, June bug in general has been an awesome color for me down here lately. So gonna go ahead and send this finesse worm out there and hopefully we can get a few bass to take it in here. Fish. Nothing big, but I'll take it. Man, this poor skinny little dude needed a meal. Real stunted bass, unfortunately. Does not look healthy at all. But I'm glad it bit. Didn't really put up much of a fight, but that's all right. Let's get it swimming and get back after it. I was hoping to find something a little bit bigger than that one tonight. So let's get this finesse worm back out there and see if we can get something a little bit better. Oh. Fish. All right. Another real skinny one, about the same size. Might even be the same. No, nah, it's not the same fish. The other one had a little split in its tail, but I mean, it is almost the exact same dimensions. Another real unhealthy one. I don't know what's going on with this pond. Last year they were way healthier in here. Still happy little dude bit though. Let's go ahead and put him back. <gasps> Some just had it and let go. Come on, grab it again. <sighs> that felt like it might actually add some weight to it. Oh, I just got bumped. I can't tell if the fish is still there or not. I don't think it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And it's a good one. Is it a bass even? It might be a tilapia. No, it's a bass. It's a nice bass. Let's go. Buddy, don't do that. Yes. That was a real sloppy catch. Beautiful bass though, guys. I was not expecting that after the two little starved dinks we caught earlier. This was probably like a two and a half, maybe even three pounder. Gorgeous fish. All right, guys. I had to stop and take a few pics for the gram since this is the first respectable bass I've caught in like two weeks. But man, what a beauty. I was not expecting this out of this pond after those dinks. Was just kind of starting to give up hope and this gorgeous largemouth bass hammered that finesse worm. Such a cool catch, so unexpected. Let's go ahead and put this beauty back. Well, all right, guys, as y'all could see, that was an awesome couple of days fishing with these young finesse worms. I had an absolute sleigh fest that first day. There was actually a few catches I didn't even get on camera. So I think I caught like 15 fish that first day and then caught those like four or five the second day and a few pretty decent ones in the mix too. Nothing giant, but I couldn't really complain about either of those days of fishing. Super happy with the way things went with these finesse worms. I'll definitely be throwing these around more in the future and 
like I said, it was just an awesome couple of days. So thanks for sticking around and watching the whole video, guys. I'll see you guys on the next one, and I'll see you on the water.